Ray doing as much damage as he can, even more vultures are going, now gonna focus a little bit on that Nexus at the natural expansion, Vul another vultures come out, plant down a mine, that mine takes out of the Dragoon, one mine gets taken out, meanwhile, Tempest just being fared away, gonna lose one Dragoon, <laughs> it's not a sacrifice as a vulture, moving in with even more vultures flying around, just with a speed up, getting now ready, gonna go all around, oh, kill some probes in transition, and probes trying to fight valiantly, but all get taken down. Just probes fighting one dragoon against three vultures to look at the face of Tempest. Oh my God, the guy is disgusted that he fell for this, that it is allowed this to happen. That factory is still there. Not is just gonna sacrifice the thing, gonna try to get out one more vulture, gonna try to plant some more mines. Meanwhile, just building up, getting more factories inside of his own main. He's had established his natural expansion now. He just has to defend that, and I definitely think he has enough mines to do that. One vulture manages to come out. We're gonna see. No, yeah, oh no, no mines planted. Apparently, free losing himself a little bit there. Did not plan a mine when he could have. But meanwhile, moving in with more vultures, just flying around, being a total pain. Putting down a starport down and just wow, all in all, more vultures planting down, mines everywhere. Just just so beautiful, those vultures! Oh my god. Mines in every one and again probes being killed. How many probes have been lost? No vultures, meanwhile, not gonna get inside the main, but they do go in, kill several probes. I mean one vulture, 75 minerals, and you gotta pay for their upgrades. How cost effective has that harassment been? Oh my god, I don't care. He lost 10, 20 vultures, I don't know, but he killed so many probes, so many dragoons. Now there have been st uh, turrets. Wow, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit. It's not quite there after seeing the wonderful play there by Nada. But yeah, he's putting down turrets in places just to prevent any harassment going into his base. Has that uh, barracks in that location there to spot any shuttle flying into his main trying to just get his economy going he has that armory spinning so he's definitely getting upgrades meanwhile now tempest setting up to take another base at the four o'clock and he's just trying to equalize this kind of like position gonna try to go heavy economy and just try getting more gas and gonna move out with some pressure with those dragoons as well as an observer but the tanks position very good position that observer is not gonna be able to get inside to that turret but those dragoons are gonna move in gonna try to move in it's getting sieged by tanks you can see what much damage they actually managed to do they almost do, almost do manage to take out the turret meanwhile gonna focus fire on those tanks those tanks meanwhile shelling all those dragoons three dragoons lose their lives I believe actually four might have lost their lives and they're just going to be forced to run away. Tempest needlessly throwing away Dragoons to try to do some pressure. All in all, not good for him. I think he, ma he managed to take out one tank, but overall, very good positioning from Nada. Just showing that crap out of that. Now he's getting wraiths with control trials, so we're definitely going to have some 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 stealth for them. And of course, this could be very effective. Meanwhile, two gateways being, two gateways being put down by Tempest. And he has that expansion at the 4 o'clock. And of course, with those pylons positioned, no vultures are going to be able to get inside that. An observer behind Nada's base for Tempest, so he's going to spot that out. So Tempest, uh, well, if he manages to ride this out for a little while longer, he will have an economic advantage, especially with that uh, third mining base, of course. But a Terran can run longer under fewer bases. So <laughs> Nada definitely has that expansion. One scouting SCV going to get taken out. More factories being put down. One more factory actually being put down. Meanwhile, an observer is going to get inside of Nada's base, can spot everything out, going to spot that Wraith critically. So he's going to know to be ready to uh, scout stuff. To, uh, another factory being put down by Nada. So he's going to try to build up a decent sized tank force. We're going to see whether he uses Goliaths or Vultures or both to supplement that. Whether he's going to go heavy Volts or heavy Goliaths. Although I don't think we're going to be expecting, expecting Arbiter Tech quite yet from Tempest. Who at this point is now blocking off one of the bridges into his main. Very smart idea. And Nada meanwhile now setting up an expansion at the 2 o'clock. This is going to get spotted out by that thing. And a drop going to come out. That shuttle. Uh, the dropship, I'm sorry. And Wraith meanwhile coming out for Nada. And that's definitely going to get spotted out. I'm not sure if Nada actually knew that that was spotted out. But Tempest is going to expect that. Meanwhile, Barracks is going to run out of their block. We're going to see how this drop goes. There is that Wraith. And dropship is going to get spotted. But we're going to see whether it gets taken out. A couple more shots needed for the dropship. Dropship survives. Oh, jeez. Wow, Nada was lucky there. It got completely spotted out. Very good positioning by Tempest to intercept that drop. But overall, Nada was very lucky not to lose that. Dragoons, <laughs> meanwhile, moving into pressure. I doing some pressure. <laughs> Just trying to desperately kill the dropship. But instantly gets slaughtered by some tanks. Of course, what you got to love about Destination is that you can simply put tanks all over the ridges inside your main and just use this stuff all I Sometimes I love watching these first-person vids. They just show what the players, how fast they go. Meanwhile, an observer, they're running around, gonna f 
almost get taken out. That robotics facility, that robotics facility, simply being used for observers at this point. So this shows me, I believe Tempest is gonna eventually, soon enough, go for Arbiter Check as soon as he can afford that. As soon as he's has those three gases running, he only has one gas at this point. Now putting down cannon inside of his fourth clock base to prevent any vulture or tank harassment, or at least kind of not necessarily prevent it, but uh, hold it off for as long as possible. Yeah, a second forge meanwhile point being put down by him so he's gonna go heavy upgrades second army now up for nada almost so he's also gonna go heavy upgrades you're gonna need that you're gonna see whether he goes he has the tarpical and see whether he goes for science vessels once it is that tempest goes for some tech tempest meanwhile now putting down another base at the eight o'clock so he's gonna really try to go heavy economy i'm not sure if he's established a third gas at this point yet but he's definitely gonna want to do that if he wants to go arbiters which i assume he's gonna do temple archives and stargate coming up for tempest so Soon enough, that's going to be an Arbiter Tribunal, and he's definitely going to need more gas, though. He's going to pump out and try to do some recalls and economic damage. Nada still, I believe, at an advantage, but the longer he allows Tempest to run around and scout more vultures, uh, run around and expand, the more danger for him. Emo just running around with vultures, not going to be able to get inside the main, but should be able to kill some probes, planting out mines along the middle. It's going to help him out, prevent some movement, mines being planted down everywhere possible and just trying to attack some zealots, trying to attack some... I actually think she'd be focusing on those probes instead, trying to do... There we go. Finally attack some probes, kill, get some probe kills, but should have been focusing... Should not have been focusing on those zealots, instead just trying to get as many probe kills as possible with those vultures, because Tempest is slowly but surely getting an economic advantage. He will get this soon if Nada does not react. He, Nada, of course, has more production. He has been having more production for quite a while now. Tempest has nothing but Dragoons and several Zealots now on the ground. I'm going to use that with the help of that Observer to clean out as many mines as possible. Arbiter Tribunal and the second Stargate now coming up for Tempest. So he's slowly trying to equalize this game. Some uh, Vultures and Tanks going to try to meet some Dragoons. Some Dragoons die. Mines being planted down. Some get taken out. One mine goes off. Kills another Dragoon. Vultures doing a very good job of pressing. Just boxing in all those Dragoons. All the Dragoons are going to be completely doomed. There. Wow, two Dragoons getting boxed into some ma to the, <laughs> the map there. Do that one little crater and instantly get slaughtered. Oh man, Tempest lost way too many Dragoons in that little engagement but to almost nothing but Vultures and a couple of tanks. Meanwhile, now Nada establishing the mineral only at his upper right. So he's not going to risk opening himself up by trying to take the uh, 2 o'clock because that would be a little bit risky with the... Despite this map being a little turn favorite, you do open yourself up to the better maneuverability of the Protoss if you try to overexpand a little bit as a Terran. So he's smartly just taken down the safe base at the upper right, which he can block off quite easily. And just gonna wait until he takes his 2 o'clock, until he feels that he's positioned a little bit safer. You definitely don't want to get recalled right now. Both targets producing Arbiters, what I, what I assume anyway, are Arbiters at this point. Forge is spinning, and I'm not sure if any player has. I definitely think not already has upgrades. He eh? has weapons to upgrades at this point, so Siege Tanks are going to be very, very dangerous. And Tempest at this point, no upgrades this so far. Now, meanwhile, taking his lower left. Uh, I've seen these mistakes being made by Tempest before, not getting upgrades, and this is what really comes out to kill him in the late game at least hopefully this time around he's gonna be try to equalize upgrades as long as possible now not a moving in into the middle with vultures and tanks and just try to focus force away those dragoons he has a science facility now going so we'll have science vessel out soon he already has a one science vessel out so he didn't spot them for Goli goliaths vultures tanks around meanwhile a shuttle with something inside i assume reaver is going to see some zealots speed upgraded with weapons one and armors one so first upgrade now ready for tempest so this is definitely going to make that battle a little bit easier for him has a lot of gateways i think that's 10 gateways at this point he's may not mining very well he's probably just waiting for some arbiters to first arbiter now out he's going to wait for those arbiters before he goes in with his ground forces his mineral only at the lower left, almost ready at this point. Nara just trying to move around his army a little bit, ready for position. Now taking the 2 o'clock and just going to hope that for his sake he doesn't leave it far too open. He blocked, he has blocked off his 10 o'clock base, putting down some more factories. And he is producing plenty of forces. Again, forges spinning for Tempest. So he's going to, okay, one forge is spinning for Tempest. So he's going to try to get more upgrades going. He definitely should get that second upgrade going because you need upgrades against Terrans, especially if Nara decides to just go full on he has those two armies he should be able to get what uh, armor up because he has his first armor upgrade so upgrade speaking you have one and two against one and one so that in that spot definitely better for not and tempest moving in gonna oh one turret does go off though tanks all siege Vultures in position, the turret does go down, but then instantly Tempest moves back a little bit. He's not quite ready to engage. Did take out, out the turret though, so 
he could have actually thought of pushing it, but he's going to hold off for a little bit, trying to get himself into a proper positioning. Probably what you want to do against the Terran, especially on this map, is you want to get a flanking position, and you want you and you don't want Terran to control the bridges, which is what now Nada is going to do. He's going to try to take control of those bridges in the middle. If that will allow the maneuver, buddy. And now this vulture is going to move in on that eight o'clock. Just going to should be able to do a lot of damage. Nothing but two cannons that to prevent them. There's definitely enough vultures. Me on up planting mines and everywhere just to prevent that. Uh, reinforcement of Tempest. Those mines, a bunch of them go off, but not doing too much damage. Vultures, meanwhile, aren't going to go right inside there and take out a lot of probes, take out all the cannons. Meanwhile, now the forces of Tempest are not going to move in and going to clean that up. We're going to see, I think, though, that Nada has done quite a little bit of damage. Quite a lot of bit of damage. Meanwhile, the Vultures moving down towards the lower left. Going to try to kill some probes in that location, too. Just trying to use those Vultures the best of his abilities. Just trying to take out as many probes as possible. He definitely lost the control group of, Zel of Vultures there, but all worth it. But he's gonna, just going to need to reinforce that because he needs blockers for his tanks. He needs something to 